Hey everyone, today's video is something different. I'm starting a series called Genshin Cast. The point of this video is to share my voice and share my opinion about all this stuff. Now, of course, this is the first time doing it, so it might be a little bit bad. But like I said, this is something that I always want to do. This is something, a new change of the channel, new change of the series. If you just like it, I will continue doing it. If not, well, I'm still going to do it anyway. So, yeah. So that's the point, just give a little bit through what you're going to expect from this video because it is quite long. I'm not going to lie, it is quite long. So, yeah. Warning, the video is me sharing my thoughts and opinions on things that has happened today in my life. It is something not to be taken serious, nor to be hateful. The point of it is to have fun when playing games and talking. Thank you. Here we go. Alright, so, hopefully... That explains what's going on, but like I said, this is new content. New content that I'm thinking of making and doing because, I mean, why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? So, like how every, you know, when you listen to podcasts and you know, stuff, we always gonna do things that we just talk about and stuff. Like I said, I could be right, I could be wrong. Who knows? I'm just sharing my opinions. But while doing so, we're playing Kitchen Impact. And what's wrong with that? You know, combining two things that makes it into one, I think it's a good idea. And like I said, I don't have music on on Kitchen Impact. Well, I guess like, you know, music for Kitchen Impact. I kind of lower it down because, to be honest, when I'm playing Kitchen Impact, I don't really listen to their music. Now, granted, it's not to say that they're not good, it's just to say that I like to listen to my own music. Yeah. But if you guys want to hear the music in the background of Genshin Impact, I can turn it up if you guys want. I don't do any damage, okay. You know? Now, today's video, like I said, it's just for me just to talk about random stuff and talk about things that I want to share my opinions about. And like I said, this is a new, so if I do bad on it, that's my apology. And trust me, we'll get better on doing stuff like this. And plus, I haven't recorded in a while. In a long time. So, it's nice to get back into it. Okay, what's over here? This back door. Hmm. I mean, what's the goal of today's? For today's time. I don't have full resin because I did Can't play last me. night very late. I don't want to say late, I'd say about like 10 o'clock. But, I mean, it's okay. yeah, not full. Busted. I guess I suppose I can work on Yaelin's artifacts. Let's roll. What the fuck? I got achievement. Look at that. Midnight Phantasmagoria. Uh, animal test 6308. Yeah, that's right. Get here. Oh, it's still alive. Yeah, I suppose I could work on getting Yelin's artifacts because I don't really have a good artifacts next for her. And that's because I don't grind artifacts no more. Yeah, you heard that, right? I just do my commission, just use the resins for no reason, and boom. Yep, that's 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 that's, that's my experience for Genshin Impact. It's a do those type of stuff. Hmm. Wow. No stamina. No stamina. Man. I mean, I have. I don't really want to talk about, but I mean, you know, there's some things that I want to say, but I won't say because I might get canceled, guys. Especially, nah, I'm kidding. I won't say those stuff. Like I said, this content is not to be anything political or serious. It's just me about sharing my opinions about things about the game or other stuff about my life. And sure, I could go, you know, a little bit deep, but I won't do that. Because this is a PG family content. Family, family, family content. Psych? This is not family, family content. This is radio. Oh, Take it easy. Mature, baby. 
Okay. Why would you do that? You know, sometimes we just gotta mind the work, ain't you? Look at the rock, man. Like, god damn. Imagine seeing all this stuff in real life. I and mean, sure, like, most of what the landscape is inspired by real life stuff. But I'm just saying, like, I've never seen Boy, those kind of stuff. Here comes the cash. <laughs> yes, you see the small damage because I don't have good artifacts on Yedlon. Okay, that's why we're gonna grind for her artifacts today. It's showtime! Boom! What the heck? Animal test 6308. Absorption test. Busted. By royal decree. There's many things I want to talk about. Like, what's my experience in Gigi Impact and, you know, games in general. I have a lot of things to say about games. Especially a person who plays games for like most of their lives. I think I'm. I have a pretty... I am a pretty credible person. I'm speaking about the things. Attaboy. You know. Been playing game for like almost 12 years now. Like more than a decade. So I mean I pretty have a good experience. You know I played the PS2, the PSP. And the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4. PC now. Uh, I wouldn't consider Xbox because I, I only play Xbox on my friend's house and like old neighborhoods so i don't really i can't say for xbox but j games in general i think i have a good idea you know what to say and if you speak about games i might as well just speak about this game right here Genshin impact um so here's the thing with Genshin impact i think i think everyone can all agree that this is if not one of the biggest games of all time okay i think it came out I want to say a perfect time, but it came out at a time where majority of people were staying home and using phones. Like most, most of the people, like if you're going to stay Take home, they literally have things to do. And most of the people have is phones. And because this is a free game and it's a a mobile game, okay, I, I think Kitchen Impact is a mobile game. It's not a console or PC game, but it is a mobile game, okay. And because of that, it became really, really popular, and especially when it has anime girls and anime huspandos. Oh, come on, man! That's a like, really, dude. Come on, like that's like. Congrats to, Ho Ho Boys. You don't know, think of that idea, cause God damn, that worked out great. I don't know correctly. I don't have the correct details, but I think it was like one of the biggest. Not the biggest sales, but like add, add. first week of download that like download Thank station. You know? Probably had the most downloaders in the first week. I think I could be wrong about that. Like I said, I'm not a smart ass. I'm just an idiot who just talking about things that I don't even know. Just share my opinions. But yeah, I mean like, come on, there's no denying that. Kitchen pack. Oh, two minutes. Okay, I guess we wait for that. Yeah, Kitchen pack is one of the biggest games of all time. Of all time. Yeah, you heard that back right? of all time. Of course, it's not big as GTA 5, okay? GTA 5 is, is the biggest game, okay? Sure, Call of Duty is in there too, especially with Warzone. But, I mean, get your impact. Huh? With, I mean, with many platforms you can play, and especially you can share play now. One of the share play, you can play as in mobile with your account and different, like, come on. That's, that's something that... Me take a lot of credit for, and you know, I think Genshin Impact did that really, really well. Able to play on many platforms with the same account. Love it, love it. Of course, I don't play on my phone, and I stopped playing on console since I got a PC. So I don't really, you know, play on those not that much. But I mean, for just for like normal users, like mobile users and console users, this is. You know, a next step up, and hopefully, games, future games, take that idea too. And I know then it's not gonna work well, especially like those big titles games like Call of Duty, or like even like I would say like GTA 6. They're not gonna imply that because I think you know, mobile is not gonna be work out. But the games like this, like Open War, and like a mobile game, they should take consideration. God, it works well. Perfect, perfect. 
I'm just waiting. We're just waiting for this to be done. Add Astra. I'm sorry to cut you off. Yeah, one minute left. I mean, yeah, I never really read this. Wow. But I mean, look at that, man. Look at this. Like, imagine seeing that. Like, I never seen those areas. I never seen this in real life. Maybe one day, I might go see those stuff. You know, maybe maybe one day, I might go see all the, you know, all of the places the Genshin Impact got inspired from. Because I know this is like this this right here is basically based on Germany, like a Germany kingdom, or oh maybe this look it looks like, yeah, Game of Thrones. <laughs> but yeah, I wanna I wanna go with stuff. Sure, I do see some parts, like right here, the spring, in you know, in China, there's like spring tower area, not spring tower area, but you know, spring water spring. I seen those, you know, pictures and stuff. Of course, I did, I did see, I did, went to the beach. I know what a beach looks like, okay. But what I'm talking about, like those areas, something like, well, not like, for well, of course, not not like this, because you might be scared of maybe some ghosts in there. But, but like how like high rise mountains high lines wanna go there Alright without the way I guess suppose we can start grinding on Yelling's artifacts And you may be guessing why am I using this party? The reason I'm using this party is because I am trying to get them to fresh ship ten as you see just it's a slow process but yeah, I'm trying to get to trying to get these characters to friendship ten, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to get all characters friendship ten. I think that's my goal with this game. You know, I don't really have a a a be a realistic goal like being the strongest, having the strongest team. But you know, to have all the characters friendship tens, and so far it's not working well because as of now, I think I only have thirty friendship ten. We can count the uh, calling cards. So let's start one. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That doesn't count. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I got thirty kids to fetch a team, and of course I'm not using the teapot. Okay. I can show you guys right now. I'm not using the teapot. Wait, what the fuck? How do you teleport the teapot again? I don't even know how to do it. I forgot. I think you can go here. Teapot thing. Oh, I'm right here. I'm just, I'm just here to show you guys that I don't have the teapot where you can place character and boost the friendship. I don't have that. Uh, if right here. Maybe you're not used to the place at the moment. Is this girl or guy? Look, I'm not trying to be that guy, but you know. Oh. I guess I do have two. But see, I only have two, so. Yeah. Like, I can't even have a lot, so. I since one. This is a long time ago. <laughs> yep, as you can see. Well, how do I switch? Okay, but how do you switch that? Oh, whoa, whoa, okay, whoa, whoa. All right. Damn, so much stupid stuff. Bye-bye. you ever have it? Damn, bad aim. I was horrible aim, guys. Okay, how do you leave? Because we gotta go. We gotta go to this domain right here. It is top five. You know, let's go. Let's go back down the list. Uh, number one is obviously God of War. All the God of War fan size. You know, God of War Ascension, God of War Three, God of War Two, God of War One, and God of War Twenty Eighteen. That's obviously number one. I love God of War. Okay, I'm. Come on, man. I'm a big fan of God of War, man. You can't play me. And if I have to choose number two, I might have to go with Minecraft, just because I have a lot of memories with Minecraft, especially on last gen. You know, PlayStation 3 and moving up to PlayStation 4. 
still having enjoyment, sure it gets boring, especially on Engi. But if you start your own war and play with other people, you have a good time, and I, I think I appreciate what Minecraft done to me. Everything is negotiable except overtime. Okay, what's up? You're just gonna interrupt me like that? That's messed up, man. I guess I could play while talking. Well, I'm not really good at it. But number three, I, I have to go with Need for Speed Most Wanted 2012. Not 20, not 2005, but 2012. One reason why is because of the multiplayer. I have a lot of fun with playing multiplayer on Need for Speed 2012. I have a lot. Okay, I know people say that's like the worst Need for Speed of all time because it feels like burnout, which. I can see why people get mad at it, and especially as it has the name most wanted, so yeah, we got you baited. But you can't lie, man. The multiplayer was fun. I like playing the multiplayer on my game. Take flight. And like the Konase, I gave it all. OP as hell. You know? And the Hennessy Venom, if if you had that car, that's like a pay to win car. So, okay, maybe it's not there, but for me, I have fun, a lot of fun with it. Damn, bad effects too. Jesus Christ. Yeah, for me, I have a lot of fun playing uh, Need for Speed 2012. And number four, um, number four. I might have to say number four. I might have to say Gitchen Impact. I think it's number four on Gitchen Impact. Like I said, it's in my top five. And the simple is that I I kept playing it every day, and I'd never get bored of it. So sure, sure someday that I don't play it is because I don't have time to play it. Because, you know, I am a college student, I do work, and I have better things to do instead of playing games. But it's at number four. Alright. Like I said before, this is a game that have what you want as a like an anime fan and a video game fan as well. Transfiguration. My apologies. Booties, boobs, ladies, boys. And look at the fight mechanic. That's fun. That's still score is not a game for everybody. Like if you say that for any game. But for me, this game I have fun with it, man. I think it's a good game. I know there's a lot of controversy around it. Okay. Especially, you know, the anniversary rewards, but in all, it is a fantastic game. I never I don't think I'm never gonna stop playing this game. And that's saying a lot coming from me. So that's number four and number five. If I had a story in there, I'm just gonna say Maybe maybe like Borderlands. Borderlands 2, because I did play with you know with one of one of my closest friends and like one of my closest people. And if I had to say maybe maybe MW3 because of the good memories I played last year. There's a lot of games from last year that I had a lot of fun. Maybe because that's where I was really having fun. Yeah. Cry I know that's not really a good list. Because that just name it part of my head. But those flight. lists, they were. Those games were fun. For me. Right? Maybe it was not fun for you, but like I said, this is my list. Not yours. Yeah. My apologies. Let's get kill this thing. Lights up. Manifest. Wait. Well, Hold on. Yeah. Looks like we're gonna use some fragile resin. To get this up. Yeah. So those are my top five. God of War. God of War. Wait. What was the list again? It was God of War Need for Speed 2012. What was what again? What the? I even forgot. I, I I just forgot my list. I'm an idiot. What the heck? And Minecraft. Okay, so it's, it's God of War, Minecraft, Need for Speed 2012, Kitchen Impact, and Call Borderlands or Call of, or Call of Duty MW3. Or Black Ops 2 as well. Yeah, those, those are my top five of all time. Yep. You heard it right. And what's my plan for this game? You know, Kitchen Impact. I think, I think every game you play, you must have a plan for it, Just so you know what to like going forward what to do i think for this game especially we're getting closer to like the new pat not to new patch like new region i like if i have to guess like in two months we might get a new region coming up if i have to say it i might keep 
like I said, I am, I am going to keep playing this game. And I might, I might save for the Dendro God. Because I do, I don't have all gods, I don't have Venti. But I'm going to save for the, the uh, Dendro Art Card. You know? Because I think, I think, let's imagine this. Like, imagine a tall dude. Well, it could be a, it could be a, it could be a, a girl too. But I'm not being sexist, okay? But like, I'm, I, we don't know what what the icon is. But I have to guess, it could be, well, it could be a girl actually, more likely. But like, imagine like me here and like just throw grass everywhere and like summon like like summon Gyra from God of War. Like, oh my God, do that be as 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 the O? Bro. Like, I'm just getting hyped just thinking about that. Like, imagine the summoning, like, the user, oh, and the summoning guy with, from God of War, or, 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 like, or, um, Greek mythology, you know, or, you know, like, you know, Dendro is, like, earth element, kind of, okay, okay, uh, it is green, and grass is green, and earth, you know, green day, sorry. That was a bad joke, I mean. But like, you know, I'm getting hyped for that. And plus, Dendro Kilters is a, kill this, a new element that we might never, we never play yet. So, yeah, I don't think that's my plan. It's to save up for a Dendro, uh, Dendro icon. I think video games is boring. You know, I think it is boring. Now, of course, I don't play that much video games now. Okay, like I know, like two years ago, I was playing a lot of games okay, with the homies, but you know, I think once we get older, I don't know, it's just like a growing up thing, like coming out, coming out of age. But like, I think games is game is boring. Like I don't really play that much games. It sucks. I, I'm a game. I should be playing games, but I just can't. I don't have fun. Like, even the games that we play with the you know, homies, we only play for like, or like, well, we only play for like, two weeks at maximum, and that's it. Now, granted, I don't have the games they have, so I don't really play. But even then, like, even that child games, I don't really have fun. I don't know just because we're just getting old, and we're turning out of that childhood kid material. Yeah. Game is boring. There's not really good games to play, and it sucks. What well, I I want to say good games, fun games, and I, I want to play games. I, I want to. And like this, and I am playing games right now. Get your impact because this game is fun for me. But if if, if besides this game, there's nothing one else to play. And right now, I'm basically waiting for Need for Speed 2012, well not 2012, Need for Speed 2022, and God of War Ragnarok. That's the only two games that I'm just waiting. Anything else? <laughs> yeah. You know? I don't think that's a bad thing. Because, you know, once we have higher priorities besides game. I think that's a good thing that we don't really play that much games that that it doesn't take your time away. You know? I think once I got older I decided I, I play games just to as a reward now. Uh, as a set of oh quick quick wait wait. That's kinda of hard to get. Yeah, like why not I play video games as a reward. Like after I do, after I'm done with you know work, after I'm done with school, after I'm done with every choice, I play video games to number one myself. Be like, yeah, you done everything and stuff. I don't like playing games when I have other stuff that I don't finish because it just it doesn't satisfy me when I'm playing games. Like okay, I'm playing game, but I gotta do the other stuff too, so it takes away that game experiences away from me. It takes away the fun. So that's why I like to do a lot of stuff first before I start playing game. And I think it's a good habit. You know? Instead of playing game first, do some stuff. Make some food. And, you know, go work out first. 
then after doing everything you think you finished for the day, just play video games for the whole day. That's every week. Okay, that's kind of hard to, you know, compromise because, you know, there's many things that can occur. Like, for example, like, what if, you know, I gotta go pick up my, you know, my little sibling? Oh, uh, you know, or out of nowhere, someone needs, needs, needs my help, you know? But for me, I think that's how I do it now. You know, once I got older, I decided, you know, instead of waking up in the morning just playing video games, just work on other stuff and play video games last. And it's not the end of the war. And especially the games I'm playing now is, you know, doesn't take that much time. But I think it's a good thing that we have that in mind. But you do you do you. Right? I'm not here to change how you play games, but what I am saying is that that's how I do it, and that's my opinion. The experiences as the first year? I'm not gonna lie, I would say it's kind of underwhelming, just for me, coming for, coming for me. Like, I thought college students, I'd be like, okay, this is something that I, I gotta take serious, I gotta we'll do this, do that, do this. I think it's just... Not so different from any school. Sure, it is college, so you you gotta like have the expectation. You gotta be like, okay, I cannot mess things up. I like, I gotta start doing this. Oh my god, what the heck? What the? But for for what am I spending? And I awake and go to school at the same time. And if you're doing that too, I think it's a good thing you're doing that because you have more carefree. You're more carefree when you go to college. And coming from my first year experiences, and one of the biggest things that I love as a college student is a lot of carefree. I can do many things that I don't really, that I don't care, you know. For example, if I see a hundred dollar sweater, I don't care about it because I work. So I was like, okay. And I know that's not a good thing being carefree, but I just don't care. If you're a college student, you don't really have that much, I guess, holdbacks. You know, you go to where you want as a college student. Even even go to class. Your professor, you know, it's not their well, it's their job to do their job, but it's not their job to do your job. So if your job is to you know what? I already know this stuff, I'm just not going to attend class. Alright, that's fine. So you you have I guess you say you have more freedom to do what you want. High school, you can't really do this stuff. Because you know, you're high school, you're not adult. In college, you know, you're basically an adult. You have no response in your hand. You know, no one's holding your cannonball. Not, not cannonball, but no one's holding your, holding your back for them stuff. It's up to you. And I like this stuff because, you know, it makes you, it makes you grow more. It makes you be like, okay, okay, it's my own choice. You know? You're making your own decision. And I think that's one of the biggest reasons, you know, college is a good thing. Well, sure. Academic and you know in those like classes, you know, EGEs, you know, credit units, you know, they don't really help us, you know, unless you have a different major that requires stuff. But besides that, I mean, like, if you talk about like growth and be more mature, I think going in campus and just going in college environment, I think that helps a lot, and especially doing sports and clubs with more. Community connection it works well, and especially now I'm going to my second year. I'm gonna like hopefully you know, join like join join sports or join a club, be more involved with student you know student life of college because we don't unless you like going for college like going for eight years. So I'm going for twelve years. Well, not four years. Four years. So, we're not going to get this opportunity again, unless you want to go to school, back to school again. But besides that, like, you know, I want to enjoy as much as I can. And that's the end of it. You know, enjoy as much as you can. Do what you cool. Do what you do. Do what you cool. Cool what you want. That was a bad tip by me. <laughs> oh, shit. I gotta get that bad boy. I can't even read that. What the hell? Dude, I'm not gonna lie. When I first started playing, I thought I thought Saint Chu was a girl, and he could be. It is Prima, so if it is, I like that. 
You heard me. I like that. Oh my god. Overload. Have you ever seen an enemy? Overload? I never seen it. And I think it's because <laughs> it, it doesn't. It does seem interesting to me, man. I think that's I think that's anime Thanks nowadays now. I don't think I don't watch. I, I think anime. What the fuck? Just what the heck? What the fuck is going on? I don't know what I press, guys. I'm scared. I might get hacked. Oh yeah. I'm, I don't watch anime no more. It sucks because I pay a subscription fee like. Seven seven months in a row, and I haven't watched it. The last anime I watched was Tokyo Revenge, and like I'm talking about like a whole series of anime. That's the last time I watched, and that ended in like December. And as of now, it is June, so if it's December or maybe December, it maybe it's like October or something, it's around that time. It's been like six months, and I haven't watched a anime any anime series since that time. And I don't know if it's because like anime is, is boring too, but I can't, I can't watch it. I can't watch like a series. For example, I was trying to watch this anime. It's like a, a little blue haired girl and a guy. And like she has like that, what is that, like a cold face. I don't know the name, but I'm not sure a picture about it. Like, like, like that anime right there. Yeah. But I try to watch that. Like, one episode in, I stop. Like, I, I don't want to continue. It's not to say that it's boring, but it's just that I don't, I know what's just, I know what's going to happen. Like, when I, you know, it's, I just wound myself. Like, instead of watching it and like, be like, just don't think anything else. I decided like, okay, if this is how it's going to go and based on first episode and based on like what I saw the first episode, I basically make a conclusion of what I think this anime is going to be. And, you know, like, I'm not saying I'm always right, but mostly I'm always, like, right. Like, okay, this is how it's going to happen. And it sucks. Because I basically make up my own conclusion instead of watching them see how the authors and the creators make their own conclusion on that. And it's a bad habit, but, you know, I, I can't stop. And I always say like, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back watch it, and I never do. I don't know if it's because I don't have time, or is it because, you know, anime, it just doesn't seem enjoyable now. But, you know, I just can't watch it. And it sucks though, because I think there is a lot of good animes that come out now. Like, for example, I don't even watch Attack of Titan. Yeah, you heard that, right? I don't even watch Attack of Titan or Demon Slayer. You know it's bad when I don't watch those, you know, quote-unquote, Popular animes, okay. And the reason I say popular animes, so if you go like an anime merchandise or anime store, they basically have Demon Slayer and Tiger Titan merchandise, okay. All right, let's be honest. There's a lot of good stuff. Like I don't even watch a Tiger Titan or Demon Slayer. And of course, majority of the baby blame could be on social media like Instagram. For example, people be posting like pictures and like spoilers on Instagram. So they're like already spoiled, like already ruined for me. So it's like okay, if I know this happening, well, I gotta watch it. I think you know. I think social media has to be blamed for that too. But you know, it just sucks, man. Because I, I do want to watch anime. I do want to watch anime. But I just can't because it's just boring. Well, it's not boring, but I just I'm a boring guy. That's just I think it's as simple as that. I'm like, no. It's gotta be a reason why I don't watch anime. There's gotta be a reason why. What is the reason why I watch Tokyo Tokyo Revenger? I think the reason why I watch it because I love. Look, man. Look, I'm not. I'm not that ghetto guy, but I I like, bro. Middle schools, hood politicals. Oh my god, bro. Like damn. Like, Tokyo Revengers. That's something different. It's fresh. Now, of course, it's never new, like having like a delinquent enemy. I think at some point, like probably back in the 90s and maybe in the early 2000s, there was a lot of delinquent, delinquent enemies. All right. But Tokyo Revengers, man, that is fresh. Like that's, that's like a 
fresh air. Alright. Like, I don't think we have any delinquent enemy up until the Soul Avengers. I could be wrong. Maybe I've never seen it. But, hey. But I'd rather be that guy, but. Tokyo Avengers, I think it's. I guess you could say it's more. Like, mo wow. more Americans can relate it to it. Because, you know, especially living in America, we have. Uh, especially living in California. And there's a lot of gains. Okay? A lot of gains. Alright. I think Tokyo Adventures, as a delinquent lifestyle and delinquent anime, I think it works. I think they did it good. And sometimes, some of the characters are relatable. Especially if you hit, if you live in that hood environment, in the hood lifestyle. That's what they, that's how, that's how they do it. And I'm sure this is like more accurate in Japan, especially like the delinquent and biker games. But like, it's just cold, man. And especially the motorcycle. Oh my god, dude, their motorcycle is clean and the drip. Whoa! Look, I even bought, I bought, I bought Dragon's um, his like his jacket. And of course, I, of course, after like the season end, I couldn't wait even longer. I decided to read the manga, and I got Zana's earrings. You didn't know the earrings? Oh. Zana's earrings. You know, Bonten. His earrings. It's not Bontan, but it's Anna's earrings. Ten Tentacle? Ten... Yeah. Can't read them. It's not Ten Tentacle. What the heck am I talking about? Well, yeah. I got I got Anna's earrings and Dragon's jacket. Because, bro, man, that shit is fire, man. And like I said, a lot of Americans, and they see that anime, they'll be like, Hey, man, this, this shit cold. Well, it, man, Tokyo Adventures, man. I'm excited for Season 2, too. I heard they are making Season 2. I don't know... When this releasing, if I had to, if, when I saw like a, I just gonna probably this is like January 2023 for season two, and it's the Christmas arc. And I, of course, I read the manga, so I know what's gonna happen, but I'm still gonna watch it anyways because that shit cold, man. I didn't think that's the only anime I'm gonna watch is Tokyo Adventures <laughs> because it's fresh, okay? You've never seen a delinquent anime. Like, if you see those other animes, the Isekai, you would have seen those stuff. You know what's gonna happen. We're gonna have, he's gonna have a Harlem, or the, kid, the main MC is gonna have a Harlem, and they're gonna, he's gonna be overpowered, and he's gonna learn some quarterly coming in age stuff. And he's like, wow, this new war, new life. Come on, man, that's all done already. So, no, my sword. Who politicals? Games? Power. Sign me up, my friend. Sign me up. Love it. And like I said, I think uh, many Americans will relate to this stuff, right? especially young Americans who, like I said, live in those you know, bad properties, you know, gang properties. They, they see this, they're like, yeah, man, this is what it's like. Of course, I'm not a gang member or gay or slavery, but I do live in an area where it's you know, a lot of stuff happens, okay? Which is why I live in the west side. Tupac. <laughs> Why did I leave? The heck, I'm an idiot. I'm stupid. Well, if I guess I could get more of those butterflies. But yeah, two your Avengers. Go to enemy. If 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 I had to put it in my, it's it's like top three, top three anime of all time. Two your Avengers. And but since I read the manga, and like, I I really caught up to it. Like caught up to the, for the final art. Spoiler. Spoiler. Spoiler, I'll give you like 10 seconds before I talk about it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, here we go. So, as of now, the I'm at the I'm at the final point where where it's basically Mikey versus Takamichi, and what's going to happen is that they're the final arc and Dragon die. I right, rest in peace too, so the golden character. Right, he, he he got you know he he got caught. Alright, so I'm pulling him with a gun and like pop 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 and you know he got killed. Okay, rest in peace. And we meet this beautiful waifu named Senju. Oh my god, I have a poster of her. A metal poster of her. And as of now, the Mikey's team versus Takamichi team, which is talking not talking about it, is Toma Second generation versus I think I don't know what Mikey's team. I think it's 
This is 10, 10, 10, 10 digit. It's not 10 digit dude, is it? Or is it? I think it is 10 digit dude. <coughs> but yeah. And I think um, Taiju. I don't know what his name right. I think it's his name. But Taiju is coming back to help Takamichi. And maybe Kasutor. Kasutor is coming as well. So like, holy shit, man. This is getting intense, man. I love it. I love what's going on. Wait, I'm not talking about no, I'm not talking about I'm talking about adventures. Let's talk about something else. And that is what am I looking for? What other enemies I'm gonna look? But man, I can start talking about Tokyo Adventure. Man, Tokyo Adventure is the best. Bro, oh, man, y'all need to stop playing that enemy. That shit cold. I love it. <coughs> love Tokyo Revengers. But what other enemies? I I know um, Classroom of the Elite is coming as well, season two. Uh, I think January 4th. I mean... Classroom Elite, I mean... It's good. I like it, but... I know what's gonna happen. Because I read the novel. But I am still gonna watch it though, because... It's been like 7 years since they haven't released Season 2. So I'm, I'm still gonna watch it, man. I gotta see... That cold Rain, character, but he's not cold. He just don't understand how to act. So yeah, sorry. Yeah, I might watch Classroom Elite. Maybe Red and Girlfriend season two, but dude, that like that anime is so slow. Like Jesus Christ. Like have you seen Red and Girlfriend? Like that see like. It's so slow. I feel like nothing is happening this whole time. Like no progression of any relationship, any of the girls. N n now because I said it out loud, I might not watch it. I'm sorry. I might not watch um, my new girlfriend. And I think, I think that's it for the summer season. I think there's more, but I can't do it out of my head. Man, that sucks. Now I said out loud, I'm not gonna watch Run a Girlfriend. Damn. That's a shame. That's a very a shame. Because I do want to watch Red and Girlfriend, but now because I said it out loud, I think, you know, it's not good. Because I'm just gonna play Kenshin and talk about random stuff. Thoughts? Thoughts? I know, right? Damn, look at the sunset. God damn. You hear the water flowing? You hear the piano in the background? You're lying April right here, guys. Damn! Dude, she got ice on her wrist. Oh wait, the sun's going up. I thought it's sunset. <laughs> I thought it's going down. Oh, look at that shadow, guys. Okay. Yeah, we're just waiting for that thing to respawn, just so we could test this bow on it. But yeah, just let me know what you guys think. What should I call this? I'm thinking like kitchen cast. I might just start that for now. Kitchen cast. It's just me talking about you know. I got a new letter from an informant. It looks like the situation has changed again. How is the situation changed when we just fix the situation when we just did with your quest? God damn it, Yalon. Jesus Christ. Nah, no, just kidding. Hold on, hold on, guys. Hold on. We gotta we gotta look at that thing right there. Jeez. They cry holy crap. Are they bigger than Lisa's? <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> okay, enough of that. Because we all know for a fact that Ito has the biggest chest. Look at that bad boy. Oh my lord. <clears throat> the biggest chest. How come I keep having these marks? 
Oh yeah, right. Hello, little Mr. This is Pam. Please hold. I'm a, I'm a big Office fan. The Office. I'm a big Office fan. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I was coughing. Well, yeah, I'm a big Office fan. Oh. Hello, this is Double Man from This is Pam. Please hold. Yeah. My favorite character from The Office. I know this is like something that really common, but if, if, I, have, if I have to say one, it's Phyllis, Oscar, alright, and Kevin. Kevin Malone, man. I love Kevin Malone, dude. Kevin Malone, he's that dude, man. <laughs> Damn, something's over up there. Damn, this game is too good. Look at that. The clouds blocking the sun. Like, come on, man. Y'all can't do this, man. What the hell? Did you guys just see that? That bird went to the ocean. It just got... What the fuck is going on? First off, we, we were talking about Lane's boob. It was bigger than Lisa's. Now we're talking about The Office, about how Kevin Malone is the best character in there. And we and for us speaking that, we're talking about how the clouds block the sun, realistically, and we just saw a bird commit suicide. This is a stupid video, but it doesn't matter. Listen, that's the end of the cast, of Genshin cast. Like I said, this is the first time doing this, so hopefully in the future I do a little bit better. And instead of talk about you know things that we would have been talking about and keep repeating the same thing hopefully i do much more better well, like i said it's the first time and if you guys like this type of stuff just let me know i will continue doing it or because we see other stuff too or maybe do other games as well if you guys want to see me talk about other stuff and while playing different games just let me know but in the meantime bye bye psych Take it we can't end like that we're in like this all right we're gonna get you wet lay lay lon well 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 you're yeah, wet wet because you're hydro character but we're gonna reenact Jong Jong depth scene alright here we go and a three and a two alright and a one